Anyway, in the 1960s, I joined the committee of the Gatuma Library and remained a member of this committee for no less than 40 years, retiring in 2003, uh, a couple of years, five years after we'd actually left for, for Harare. I must have done something right uh, in those years because I had the privilege of serving as, as chairman of the Gatuma Library for no less than 34 years. Uh, the library is still going and um, I'm about to start a book on the history of the Gatuma Library which turns a hundred in about a year or two time. So I've gathered myself a lot of information uh, over the years. The old Minna's books were still there and a lot of other things and I uh, hope to start, start writing on that one. Um, I would say 50% of the community were Ashkenazi and the other 50% were Sephardi. And this was a, a bit of a unique uh, congregation because in, Sol in Salisbury at the time, of course, they had the two uh, communities separated completely. And in Bulawayo, although they only had one congregation, I understand there were very few Sephardis living in Bulawayo at that time. So this was a congregation that melded both uh, sides in um, at the same time in one shoe. And there were a couple of minor points, but, um, but uh, it was all solved and sorted out and that, that became, well, yeah, more or less. The style was sort of 98% um, Ashkenazi, as you can imagine. My father ran the whole show uh, as... <laughs> as head of the congregation and the, and the uh, uh, minister, so to speak, if you can call it that, uh, it was more or less dictated by him. Uh, and he didn't brook much, much argument, so um, that's, how, that's how it ran. But it ran well, and um, we had minions Friday nights for, for years and years and years on end. But then, of course, the community eventually started breaking up. People left. And um, and the children didn't stay as a rule. They all left as well. And so um, after some years, that was the end of the community. And then, of course, we had that major car accident where three members of the community were killed. Um, and uh, that was Mon that was Monty and Marcia Spark were were killed, and David Burke, uh, at, at least uh, David Burke's wife uh, Leslie. Uh, was also killed in that accident and um, that was uh, they were coming back one night after a Victor Borger concert in, in uh, Salisbury so uh, so that that sort of really broke up the community and within a few years uh, there was no hope of getting well that actually stopped the stopped Dominion being being uh, being held so that was it and and uh, and we started going to Kwekwe for the for the Yom Tevim and eventually to to Harare. Um, by then there there was no minion whatsoever in in the Tuma Hall. And uh, my my father assisted with the with the conducting of the services in in Harare during those high festivals. Now. Um, Hermon and I have been blessed with three children, two boys and a girl, uh, and all completed their schooling in Gatuma. Uh, our eldest son played international cricket for Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, uh, school boys, and, uh, and both boys became Rotary Exchange students in the United States for, for uh, a uh, one year. Uh, all our children graduated from uh, universities in South Africa and are now living overseas. And in due course, we became proud grandparents to four grandchildren, or as I say, overseas. Now, sport featured in our lives, and we played league tennis and, um, and Mishonaland league table tennis, traveling up to, to Salisbury and and uh, Harari, eventually Harare uh, every second weekend 
and we were very fortunate to see top level tennis over the years uh, at Wimbledon, Forest Hills and in, in Sydney, Australia and the most, but I must say the most interesting and exciting uh, tennis competitions we saw were the Davis Cup matches uh, held at the National Sports Stadium in Harare with the Zimbabwe Davis Cup team uh, competing against some of the world's top uh, top players. So that was something we, we did enjoy. Um, in 19, after leaving round table I joined the Rotary Club of Gatuma and um, and uh, became president there for a couple of a couple of times and finally after 30 years of service in round table uh, I retired uh, completely this was by then in, in, in Harare where I, I joined joined the club the club there after leaving um, in in yeah 30 years in in uh, rotary um her mind had also gotten into the swing of things right from the outset of our marriage she opened a non-racial commercial college in gatuma and at one stage she taught uh, commercial classes at jamison she joined wezo in 1962 in in gatuma and to this day is still a member with something like 53 years service under her belt um, not content with only with Wezo, in 1993 she joined the Harare branch of the Union of Jewish Women. And when we moved to Harare in 1998, she was elected chairman of that branch and then served as national president of UJW Zimbabwe. And over the years she has attended three ICJW conferences uh, worldwide. Uh, which she said was a fantastic experience. Uh, in the late 19 or at least mid 1970s onwards, I served in the Special Police Reserve uh, in in uh, Gatuma, and uh, we were sent apart from local duties. Uh, I was sent out to uh, patrol farmhouses near the isolated, very isolated farmhouses near the Mozambique border. I remember arriving at, at one and the walls were still spattered with machine gun bullets from a previous raid uh, by uh, a, few, a few weeks earlier. However, everything was quiet on that trip and all, the only excitement was when we shot a large snake wriggling its way across the, the, uh, the door. So that was that. Was that. Now, prior to moving to Harare in 1998, we had the unhappy task of selling the by now uh, unused synagogue in, in Gatuma and then we proceeded to have the Gatuma Jewish uh, cemetery refurbished and protected. Uh, in the course of our research uh, from old municipal records and such, uh, we discovered many un, uh, unmarked graves in the cemetery which turned out to be graves for infants and young children and we had those uh, um, we had tombstones erected and we had a wall placed around the cemetery so it's now hopefully um, uh, reasonably safe yeah. well, not really no They're, but we we thought they there must be something there because they were sort of dotted around some of the other graves and included in, in there with, with no trace of, of anything at all. In one one lot were used as a footpath because they were so um, anyway that's that's now looking ship shape and um, and everything is is so far so good anyway. A friend of mine uh, looks after after that one. Um, is a, a gentile friend uh, because today there are no Jews left in the entire Midlands of of, of, of Zimbabwe, Ketuma or Kadoma, Kwekwe and Gweru. Uh, and uh, I also have someone looking after the Kwekwe Cemetery. 
um, which we also refurbished. Uh, I had a protection of wall built around that and the graves tidied up and so on. So uh, that also is being being looked after by by associates of mine. Um, when we left Gatuma, or let's say Kadoma, because it had been renamed by then, um, there were only two elderly members of the congregation left in that town. Uh, both one, one passed away shortly thereafter and was buried in Bulawayo. Uh, that was Sadie Hyman, uh, next to her daughter in Bulawayo, um, her daughter Jeanette. And uh, the other one was Maya Pogram, who, mo who moved to South Africa to be with his daughter, and he passed away there. So um, they were both buried, uh, buried uh, other than in, in the Gatuma Cemetery. Um, now, when we arrived in Harare, we settled down pretty well. And uh, <clears throat> apart from Hermon already being involved in UJW there, I joined the committee of the Harari Hebrew Congregation and the Zimbabwe Jewish Board of Deputies and um, became treasurer of the latter uh, and also joined the committee of the History Society of Zimbabwe and to this day I still write articles for their annual publication. Uh, a few years later, I was honored to take over the mantle of President of the Zimbabwe Jewish Board of Deputies, together with the Vice Presidency of the African Jewish Congress, <clears throat> where I had the pleasure of working with the traveling rabbi, Rabbi Moshe Zilberhaft, on numerous occasions, and I am still involved in, to a small degree. Um, Anyway, in 2006, we finally left the country altogether and settled in Cape Town. Um, Hermon remained a member of the Union of Jewish Women and established a new branch here in Cape Town, in Seapoint, uh, of which she is the founder chairman. And is, she's also a committee member of the COCOSA uh, organization, which is the Kosher Consumers Council. Uh, in Cape Town, though I have sort of sat back a little bit and only joined the committee of the Gitlin Jewish Library, which is a first-class facility. And in addition, I set quiz questions and am quiz master for an annual charity quiz, which raises money for good causes here. And apart from doing a little bit of writing on the side uh, and hoping to start on the Gatuma library history, uh, that is about all I am involved in. And that briefly sums it all up. <laughs>